If you like garbage pail kids but wish they had more rusty knives, then this episode is for you. I'm Zach with Atlanta Warhammer, and today we're talking about the Maggotkin of Nurgle. As always, I'd like to thank Gigabytes Cafe for sponsoring this video, and we really appreciate you subscribing to the channel so you don't miss a single one. The Maggotkin of Nurgle are a faction of Chaos Worshippers that have thrown in their lot with the Dark God Nurgle, as well as the hordes of demons under his control. So to talk about the faction, we need to talk about the big guy himself, Papa Nurgle. Sometimes called Grandfather Nurgle, the Great Bloated One, or Evil Garbador, the Chaos God is, like his brothers, entirely consumed with spreading his influence and worshippers across all of the mortal realms. Nurgle is the god of disease, despair, stagnation, and entropy, which puts him at odds with Zinch, who favors constant change and surprise twist endings. Nurgle is all about the slow, eventual decay of everything that exists, but he's also the god of rebirth after everything rots away. His followers embrace this decay, seeing their eventual death not as a thing to be feared, but as a natural part of their own twisted interpretation of the cycle of life. What's most interesting about Nurgle is that he genuinely loves his followers, even when they fail him. He's almost always depicted as a nurturing, giving patron, in stark opposition to Korn's constant bloodlust and Zinch's surprise mutations. Nurgle and his followers see their thousands of poxes and plagues as a gift, working diligently to spread them everywhere. Those that resist these gifts are just seen as stubborn, because eventually, they'll come to see Nurgle as the benevolent guardian that he is. Despite a horrific outer appearance including pustules, tentacle arms, and belly mouths, the maggotkin of Nurgle feel no pain from these mutations, and are generally pretty cheerful about their situation. Plus, they get to hang out with Nurglings, who are adorable little disease vectors that you just want to hug until they vomit, or you do. Or both, probably. For those that live in the mortal realms, there are many paths to Nurgle. Some human tribes inadvertently worship an aspect of the Chaos God, unaware that their prayers for a cure to their disease are only heard by the being that created it. Others willingly give themselves to his moist embrace, seeking an end to their pain and despair by gaining a true understanding of the gifts entropy has given them. Though Nurgle prizes his mortal champions and their conquest on the battlefield, pure martial might is usually seen as a bit boring to the Chaos God. He'd much rather his armies drive an enemy back behind their walls infecting those that retreat instead of simply killing them, and thus spreading his love even further. The demons of Nurgle, while no less dangerous than those of his fellow gods, are far less cruel and hateful. They see the killing of foes as a means to an end, and do so with morbid good cheer. The leaders of these armies, the living trash bags known as Great Unclean Ones, lumber into battle while laughing and singing atonal songs nearly impervious to physical harm. Also, those adorable Nurglings from earlier, they're spawned from inside a Great Unclean One's digestive tract, making them literal poop demons. If you've got the hand sanitizer nearby and you're ready to dive into Nurgle, obviously you'll first want to grab the Battle Tome. As for all Chaos Armies, except for the Skaven, the Wrath of the Everchosen book also includes new options and battalions for your army. It isn't necessary to play the army, but as most of the benefits are free, there's really no reason not to pick it up. This faction is usually divided between demons and mortal worshippers. Both sides can be played separately or combined, and are fairly well balanced either way, with a large amount of model variety. You can also include a lot of the models from the Slaves to Darkness line, who can be taken with the Chaos Mark of Nurgle. To get started with pure Nurgle, both the mortals and the demons have a start collecting box. The Demons of Nurgle Start Collecting Box comes with 10 Plague Bearers, a Poxbringer Herald, 3 Plague Drones, and 3 Piles of Nurglings. Overall, it's a really good deal and gives you plenty to roll with right out of the box, as none of these units are what you could consider bad or underpowered. As of the General's Handbook 2020, it's also 500 points exactly, so if you're looking to get playing quickly, 2 boxes give you a great Vanguard army. Toss in a great unclean one, a spoilpox scrivener, and the fantastically named sloppity Bowpiper, and you're ready to go. For the mortal start collecting side, you get a Lord of Blights, 5 putrid Blight Kings, and 2 Puscoil Blight Lords. You can alternately build a Blight Lord as the hero variant, a Lord of Afflictions. However, if you do this, you'll end up with a lone Blight Lord, and since these must be played in a minimum unit size of 2, you'll probably want to convert him into something more useful like a Harbinger of Decay or pick up another one from a swap meet or eBay. No matter which side you pick to start, there's one final piece to this gross puzzle, a feculent narmal. It's a scenery piece that you can include for free from back when scenery pieces didn't take up half of the table, and it allows your normally slow army to move with surprising haste, as well as helping to summon in reinforcements and maybe doing a little damage if someone is standing too close to it. 
Unless you're interested in building a list specifically centered around summoning, you'll likely never need more than two, but having one is almost a necessity. And that's it for the Bloated Boys of Nurgle. If you liked this video, please consider subscribing so you don't miss out on any new content, and let us know in the comments below what faction we should explain next. And as always, check out AtlantaWarhammer.com for lists, tournament results, the podcast, and all sorts of malarkey.